Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Sony A7 or Alpha 7 or as Sony refers to it the ILCE7 interchangeable lens camera with an E-mount. It was introduced in October of 2013. It's still available new. Um, they're up to like the third rev of these I think and there are a bunch of different variants. Um, there are a lot of good write-ups and reviews since it's a current uh, camera. So I'll give you kind of the bare bones spec and then I'll talk more about why I chose this camera rather than what it is. It's got a 24 megapixel full frame Exmor CMOS sensor. Sony makes the sensors for a lot of other full frame digitals. It has an electronic vertically traveling shutter uh, with times from 30 seconds to 1 8,000th of a second plus bulb. It has the usual manual aperture priority, shutter priority, and programmed auto, auto exposure modes. ISO is settable from uh, 100 to 25,600. There's no built-in flash. It has a single contact uh, hot shoe, so it'll take a lot of old flashes. And then along the front, it has the Sony proprietary multi-interface shoe contacts. The LCD tilts, but it doesn't fully articulate. So it's pretty good for doing waist level shots, but then down it only does an angle. It's still pretty good for, you know, if you're in a crowd or something trying to get shots like that. has a nice electronic uh, viewfinder since it's a mirrorless camera. That's why the body's so slim this way. I got the kit lens with it. Um, it's a 28 to 70 millimeter. Um, at widest it's uh, f3.5 fully zoomed it's f5.6 I don't remember what the smallest aperture is it has Sony's uh, version of image stabilization they call it the optical steady shot um, it's a pretty good walking around lens the batteries are a little small for this body because I mean it's electronics out the wazoo it is a Sony and they are an electronics company first but when I got this um, I got a couple of extra batteries and an external uh, charger. I got Wasabi Power. They seem pretty good. So with two extra batteries and an external charger, I can keep this thing running all the time. It has near-field communication and Wi-Fi for remote control of this thing. But the software that comes with it, um, it's pretty wimpy and dumb down. Basically you get a remote shutter button. Um, to do what I want to do with this guy, which is tethered capture from a computer or a tablet, you have to buy uh, Capture One Pro. That brings me to why I did get this camera. Mainly two reasons. Um, I shoot a lot of film and scanning is a big pain. Um, I have a good scanner, a Canon 9000F. It's good hardware, but using the Canon software, it has these inserts for any kind of transparency. And you get one for slides, one for 35mm negatives, and one for 120 film. Um, sometimes I use view scan. It's good, but it doesn't have good batch mode. You have to already have determined where your frames are. And as people who watch this channel or follow my blog have seen, I shoot a lot of weird stuff. Sometimes frame spacing is weird. You know, it might be, you know, little square frames, 110 I've shot with, a lot of different things. So I hope to set this guy up um, with a macro rig. I have used this old uh, slide, slide duplicator. So shooting full frame, and shooting raw so I can do color corrections for old films that have you know that heavy heavy orange backing it's a lot easier to adjust the size and color correction using a digital camera instead of a flatbed scanner the other reason 
because there's no mirror, um, you know, as the electronic viewfinder, so it doesn't have to reflect up into a pentaprism, the flange focal distance is really short. And that's the edge where your lens meets the body to the focal plane. And they have this mark here for the focal plane. But the Sony's uh, flange focal distance um, is 18 millimeters. That's super, super short. Um, Canon EF and EFS lenses is 44 millimeters. So I can use a lot more of the old lenses on this guy. I have some beautiful FD glass, but it has a flange focal distance that's two millimeters shorter than an EF lens. So those lenses would actually have to be inside a modern Canon. This guy is a lot more flexible as far as using old lenses. I could do strange things like this contraption I put together uh, that goes from the Sony to a Canon adapter to a T-mount adapter to the slide duplicator. And I can use my EF glass on this too. Um, like this Sigma teleconverter kludge that I used. Um, I used that for some shots of the eclipse this past August 2017. No telling when you might be seeing this. Um, and for the upcoming lunar eclipse at the end of January, I hope to use this thing. Um, it is a Prospec 400 millimeter FD mount lens with a Canon 2X converter. Anyway, that's the Sony uh, Alpha 7. Um, as I shoot with it more, maybe I'll do a more in-depth review. But, uh, you know, there's some really good reviews out there. So I just kind of wanted to explain, you know, why I chose this one instead of something else full frame. So I'll keep blasting with this guy, and I'll see you then.